Well guys, we are back with another video and today guys, this is going to be a bit different. Um, this is not a Fortnite rant or any type of Fortnite video. As you can see from the title guys, yep, this is not clickbait and I'm just going to say this right now. I know I'm probably going to get some backlash and probably some hate comments for this, but it needs to be said and like I already... I've spoken about this before, like the same with Fortnite and shit, but this needs to be addressed. And I already knew this was going to happen, but nobody believed me. Like some of my pals didn't believe me about it. And one of my pals didn't believe me that it was going to happen. And maybe he still won't. I don't know. There's a couple of pals of mine that do believe me what I spoke about. But like, I knew this was going to happen. I honestly know this is going to happen. Guys, I'm not really going to waste any, any time and, you know, make this video, like, 20 minutes long or 10 minutes long or 50 minutes long. I'm going to try and keep it in, like, 7 to 8 minutes long or shorter than that. But, like, it is confirmed, guys, that it looks like there is no plans for a Season 4 for um, X Defiant. Obviously, Mark Rubin has came out and said that there is, that X Defiant is uh, going to have, like, two years of content and all this bullshit and all the rest of it, when clearly, like, there's not. There's not, because they promised that lo after launch, or I think it was, like, when the game launched back in, was it May or something, that they were going to launch with a prestige mode, and they haven't done that. It's still the same fucking level thing as, like, what Call of Duty has right now. Is that you just keep, you know, playing the game to level up. It, there's no prestige mode. And I, this is this was supposed to be the game that was supposed to be killing Call of Duty, but it didn't. And because the game did not meet the expectations of what it was supposed to be, the game's fucking died. The, the the game's dead. The, the the player count is ridiculous. Like, honestly, guys, there's like about like five k or like around about sometimes one k of people streaming it on Twitch. And then when I looked at it on um, Steam charts and looked on another website, the the player count is dropping, and it's it's even dying more than what Modern Warfare Three is. Like, I get Modern Warfare 3 is different because it has Warzone, but fuck Warzone, right? Take Warzone at the picture and just put Modern Warfare 3 in, right? Put XFI in and put that game together, right? MW3 is not a good game, right? But if you put those two titles together, Modern Warfare 3 still get more fucking players. Because they're, like, it just, it doesn't make sense. Like, Ubisoft had all this time to make an FPS game and they fucked it. It's like, because all they care about is getting microtransactions from their main fucking game, which is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. That, that's, that's the main game that they get money from. And I don't care what people say, because that's the main game that they like to get money from. And guys, this guy, whoever he is that mentioned this on Twitter, I'm going to have his, um, I'm going to show his, basically his footage and what he has to say. And guys, you'll be shocked from what he says. Like, obviously, I'll I'll play the whole thing, and um, I'll give him credit. And also, if he's got a YouTube channel, um, if you reply back to me on Twitter, mate, I will give you a shout out because, um, and then for the next video, I'll just use some of your like clip and then give you credit and also just explain my perspective because th this like because i'm gonna have my perspective in this video as well because this this is ridiculous like even it's gotten that bad that apparently skull and bones basically was supposed to be a good but fucking like pirate game or some shit and the, i pre-ordered the game and was unable to play it because it kept crashing and would not want to run and then, what was next? Oh yeah, the Assassin's Creed, the new Assassin's Creed game that comes out this year has now been pushed, pushed 
bear in mind, guys, pushed until fucking next year, which is fucking uh, just great for Ubisoft because this is what I'm talking about. These games are not getting enough time and they're getting pushed fucking back to next year or forward to next year, whatever it is. They're, they're, honest to God, guys, Ubisoft is a scumbag of a company that just cannot stop. And it was the same with Star Wars, Outlaws. Like, the re- the price for the fucking standard was ridiculous, right? But for the deluxe and for the ultimate edition, no wonder Ubisoft is falling apart. But anyway, guys, I'm going to cut it for here and we're going to take it uh, and I'll basically let you guys listen to what this guy has to say and then I'll catch you guys back after the video is done. All right, guys, so here's the uh, here's the clip and I'm not going to waste any time, guys, but honestly, I, I need to hear what this guy has to say and then after when uh, when he's explained everything what we need to know, uh, we are going to give our own opinions and guys, let me know what your opinions are in the comments below, because this, this needs to be fucking addressed. Like I said a few minutes ago, guys, I fucking called it. I knew it. Everything nearly I've spoke about, about games, I've been right. I was right about MW3 last year, how bad that would have been when they brought that out, and the same when they done the zombies. I was right about this. I was right about stuff even before this, but people just don't get it for their fucking heads. Because they just think, oh, money, I like money. They just don't listen. The gaming community now, not all of them, but some of them, are so fucking brain dead that they don't understand what goes on behind the scenes. Alright, let's watch this, guys. All right, guys, it finally happened. The other, other, other shoe finally dropped, and we are yet again saying things couldn't get worse for Ubisoft, but oh, wait a second, they just did. So in case you didn't see this, Ubisoft France just uh, now, apparently in the last 24 hours, is facing a three-day strike as the unions are protesting the decision to return to the office from remote work. Now again... All right, so his YouTube channel's up there, right, Kill, so I can find his channel and give him credit, all right, that's fine. I'm probably going to get some heat, some pushback in the comments, and I respect your guys' opinions. We can all agree to disagree. I don't see a Definitely. reason for people not to go to work. I get it. There's a lot of comforts you get, for a, you know, especially in a, in a developer's job or in any sort of tech software job where you can work from home, from your, your workstation, and you don't need to be at the office. I, I understand the argument. However from somebody who's always been like at work and who's tried to like take a day and work from home on the computer to like catch up on office work. I find it incredibly hard to work at home with kids at, you know, and, and my wife and things around the house and the animals and stuff. So personally, I think your best, you know, best option is always to be at your place of work. However, I do see that there's a lot of people who feel differently about this and that's fine. We can all agree to disagree on this. However, it has caused a massive, massive amount of pushback from Ubisoft France. And so now we are seeing a three day strike that you know, we've we've seen them saying that this was impending and most likely going to happen for a few weeks now. And it is finally here. And this was caused by a message back in September from management insisting on a return to three days working in the office for all staff worldwide follows on from another walkout in February when hundreds in France joined a dispute over pay. So again, Ubisoft just keeps taking one punch to the groin after another. So we've seen the reports that allegedly uh, their biggest flop this year could have been Skull and Bones cost. What? Ubisoft reportedly spent 650 to $850 million dollars on Skull and Bones. Ha! Nah, you n- what? No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We were just speaking about this a few minutes ago, guys. So they spent six hundred and fifty million. Well, six hundred and fifty to a uh, 
to 850 million on a fucking triple A game that did not meet expectations and went fucking stu- studio downfall and oh, same with Outlaws and Shadows. Wow. See guys, this is what I'm talking about. See guys, this is what I'm talking about, right? This is the shit I'm talking about. These fucking developers just do not get enough time. The people that work at Ubisoft don't get enough time. Like, I don't blame the, the staff that work at Ubisoft. I blame the Ubisoft, like, the, uh, the higher-up publishers themselves because they're the ones that are doing it. But the people that are working at Ubisoft, they're basically still in the wrong because they need to fucking either grow some balls and fucking say, look, we can't do this. But then, obviously, they won't get listened to because if they if they say one thing, they just fucking get let go. And then they have to go and find another job. But the thing is, they're better off doing that because, you know, look where we're at. Look where we're at in life. Like, game developers these days don't give a fuck. All they care about is microtransactions. I've said this many fucking times. I know I play Overwatch. I know that has microtransactions. I know that has mythic shit, right? I get it. That game has microtransactions, right? I get it. But at the same time, at least their main focus isn't always on microtransactions. It's always for people that want to enjoy the game. Like, for fuck's sake... You don't even need to have the battle pass to even level up. Like with Rocket League, like with fucking the finals, like with fucking Fortnite, like with Apex, like with PUBG, with all these battle royale games. You don't, like, that's the one thing I will say about Overwatch. You don't need to buy the fucking battle pass. You just level up, and then whenever you do buy it, you'll receive those rewards. But with Ubisoft, it's just money, 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 money. And it's like I said, their main fucking focus, where they get the money from, is from fucking Rainbow Six Siege. As much possibly as 850 million, although I'm still a little skeptical about that number. I could see it being closer to six. 850 seems excessive, but either way, this game has been an unmitigated failure, absolute disaster. And of course, the biggest thing, I think the biggest issue Ubisoft has faced this year is having to delay Assassin's Creed Shadows to next year, pushing it right into the middle of a very busy month with a lot of other games on top of Ghost of uh, Tsushima's sequel coming out next year, which puts it, you know, basically in a head-to-head battle for 2025 with another samurai game. So... See guys, this is the, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Devs don't get time. But yet the people that are working at Ubisoft, they need to quit. Honestly, this is the shit I'm fed up with. The I bet half of these fuckers that work at Ubisoft as well don't even have a fucking clue what they're doing. Because every time, right, this happens, this is when you know shit's hit the fan. They came out and announced that you, the Assassin's Creed uh, fucking, uh, what you call it, Shadows, there we go, it came in my mind there. Assassin's Creed Shadows was supposed to release this year, at the end of the year, I think it was around about November, I think, or December, I think it was roughly November. Now they've pushed it to fucking next year. Of course they have, it's like I said at the start of the video. They've already pushed it to the next year because they don't fucking get enough time, and also because it's Ubisoft. It's Ubisoft. It's the same fucking song and dance with every fucking, like, nearly dev or publisher, or whatever, same with Activision, right? Cyberpunk uh, 2077 was an absolute fucking disaster on day one. An absolute fucking disaster. It was unplayable on old gen, 
unplayable on PS4. It was unplayable on Xbox One. PC. It was a fucking clusterfuck. The graphics were disgusting. The gameplay mechanics were absolutely horrendous. People were pissed because they sp- they pre-ordered it. Look what happened. They took a whole fucking year, I think it was a year or two years, when Next Gen came out, they released a Next Gen version of it. The game comes out, not the best, but they fixed the problems, and then a couple of years later, they released a DLC, Phantom Liberty. How the fuck does a game go from being broken like that to a masterpiece? It was the same with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Game came out, it was a complete fucking boring piece of shit. Multiplayer was good, zombies was okay, but there was hardly any fucking content. The game was dying because the next game was coming out, which was fucking Vanguard. So... Then Treyarch decided, you know what, fuck it, let's bring some content into the to Black Ops Cold War. And even to this day, guys, Call of Duty Cold War made a comeback after two years later, and it's still one of the main Call of Duty games in the franchise. Not the, Maybe it's not the best Call of Duty ever, but one of the most best Call of Duties in the modern era of fucking any Call of Duty game right now. Because MW 2019 was a fucking disaster. Fucking MW2 was a fucking disaster. MW3 is a fucking disaster. Black Ops 6 could be the next fucking best Call of Duty. Like, sitting next to Cold War for the modern era Call of Duty. I could be speaking too early for that. But it could possibly happen. A lot of failures, a lot of issues for Ubisoft this year one after the other, not even talking about the fact that they've had these European Union commissions that have gone after them for, again, their monetization practices with their microtransactions and their games. But now we are seeing reports that their game that was supposed to be the Call of Duty Killer X Defiant is possibly ending support after season four Uh. if they don't get more butts in the seats playing this game. Now, again, I played Call of Duty for a while. Uh, Modern Warfare 1, uh, I didn't play Modern Warfare 2 very much. Apex Legends, I did a, a fair amount of that. So I, I've been around these games, okay? I've been around games that are designed for a certain audience, and I, I've been part of that audience once in a while. This game, I have seen less than no marketing for, and I have zero desire to go look for it on my own. I don't know which launcher it's available on. I don't, I don't know if it's only through Ubisoft's launcher. I don't know if it's available on Steam, and I don't care because I have more than enough games. And I think this is the same issue that we're running into with a lot of other games, where the, the market is so oversaturated by good games that have aged well that you could still play for years and years and years that every time they try to drop the next big thing, the next Escape from Tarkov killer, the next Call of Duty killer, the next, you know, every, there's always the next thing and it never ever lives up to the hype, at least most of the time. So, of course, we see that there's a ex-user named Just for Leaks 2 that has reported X Defiant is already dead. Ubisoft's research team is actively asking their tester to have another in-house test session and give repeat uh, their feedback. Then it says he added multiple sources, told that if it's possible that the game will end its support after Season 4 if they cannot get enough players. And again, this doesn't surprise me if this does turn out to be true. However, we have now seen pushback from people at the studio, namely one of the producers, I do believe. And so this article here from PC Games N says, X Defiant lead denies the FPS is shutting down, but admits numbers are down. You see, I'm sorry for pausing, guys, and I'm sorry I said that this video wouldn't have been too long and it would only have been like seven or eight minutes long, right? But I I need to say this, guys. What the fuck... This was the game that had so many delays, so many open betas, so many closed betas, so many tests, and the game dies after launch. Like, this game had many betas! Guys, just honestly fuck, just think about it, right? This game was delayed for a fucking year. A year. It turned out to be a couple of months and then a fucking year. The finals came out before this game. And then we got another beta. And then we got a PC beta. And then we got a fucking open beta. 
And then after that, we get another fucking beta before launch. And the game's still fucking dead. Again, this is very soft pushback. So if you see right here... Or should I say already dead? It says Mark Rubin, who is the executive producer of the game, has taken the X to shut down talk of, well, shutting down. Of course. He says, to be crystal clear, there are no plans to shut down after season four, he says in a post. I've literally been in meetings as of last week to discuss our year two plans. Ruben says that right now there has been a lot of effort going into fixing arguably the game's biggest Achilles heel, which is netcode, and preparing content for season three. They've been having the netcode problems since the fucking start of the fucking game. Now, guys, I'm not even bullshitting. They have had problems with netcode for the whole entire fucking year since the game launched. I ain't taking the piss. Every fucking time I played, I tried to give X Defiant so many chances, and the game fucking lagged like shit, I was getting packet burst, like the same shit in COD, but worse, my time to kill was fucking disgraceful, and I bet it still is, but you know, you've got Blame Truth here sucking it off, because he's the only person that's enjoying it, because he's the one person that's probably using a Cronus, and you know, getting into bot lobbies because he's a little fucking crybaby bitch that can't step up and grow a big sack of balls into an SBMM lobby. Yes, I know we complained about skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty, right? And I know, and I know what's going to happen here, right? And he already spoke about this in his video as well, that now people are wanting SBMM and X Defiant. But see, when you think about it, right? Having SBMM in the game or even out the game isn't going to do any difference apart from you having better fucking ping because it's like you're just going to be versing the same people without skill-based matchmaking so it's going to be an unfair advantage of you stomping on the same people. You have SBMM in the game. You're going to be versing the same people but then sometimes go up against different people in the next match with blueprints and all the rest of it. And you're just going to have a shit show. But then you'll get one game that if you do so bad, you'll fucking pop off. But next game, you'll get into a lobby and then you'll verse other people that's good as you. So, like, you're, there's no fucking difference. With SBMM in the game, it balances the skill bracket. But obviously, it's like, the ping's just the issue because you get lag. That's math. That's the only way I see it. Without With X Defiant, Look what's happening without SPMM. It's a clusterfuck. But yet, the game has SPMM, guys, because if you go to the welcome playlist, it says there's skill-based matchmaking in there. So Ubisoft are a lying bunch of fucking scumbags. Three and four. He does, however, acknowledge that the game is in a bit of a slump right now. Well, I mean, look, Ubisoft is in a bit of a slump. Ubisoft is in a... a Ubisoft is always in a fucking slump. Uh, a slump for the ages. I don't think there's ever been a company who has had a worse year, worse, you know, 365 days than Ubisoft has ever had. Uh, Put Epic Games to the top of that list. Um, we have done very little marketing, this guy says. So yes, our numbers are down, but that is just to give the team the time to get the game in a better place before we do bigger spends on marketing to bring new players to the <coughs> game and to bring players back that have left, he explains. Now, this game, I'm pretty sure, came out, what, earlier this year? end of last year sometime in the last i don't know 10 12 months why on earth would you wait until after the game is launched where there's rumors of shutting down to say well now we're going to start spending money on marketing to try to get some some people in here to, to boost those player numbers um this bro has just spoken my fucking mind i'm not shitting this guy shout out to this guy by the way Whoever you are, man, if you ever come across this video, shout out to you, by the way. He actually spoke my fucking mind. Exactly. Why would you wait, Ubisoft, after you launch the game to go and test shit that you fucking have tested before the game came out? And you had so many betas and alphas and tests. Well, what the fuck? 
this article says it's a strategy that doesn't sound too dissimilar to that of fellow oh, FPS Spectre Divide, gosh. the team behind the new 3v3 tactical shooter. Recently revealed that due to a dip in players after launch, it is now hunkering down to make more core improvements and save up marketing budget in order to spread the word hard once those improvements are in the game. But again, this is Ubisoft, guys. This is not some small studio. This is not some small developer. Why would they not put the money in from the get-go? We saw them spend more money marketing Star Wars Outlaws than any other game. And that and do you want to know why that is, my friend? If you ever do come across this video, do you want me to tell you the real reason why Ubisoft spent more money on Star Wars Outlaws? Because they wanted to make as much money of scamming kids or adults to buy the fucking Ultimate Edition for the game that gets you content after you complete the story. That's why. Because they thought, oh, we're not going to get money from X to fight because a lot of players are not playing the game, so we're just going to scam people out of money when they pre-order fucking Star Wars Outlaws. Not the standard edition, but the deluxe edition and the fucking, I, I think it was the ultimate edition. So that's the real reason, my friend, is why Ubisoft had, uh, has done that. Why they did that. That's the real reason why they did that. Guaranteed. No bullshit. Because why the fuck do you think people that had the Ubisoft Plus subscription decided that, you know what, instead of me buying it, I would just go into the Xbox store or, or the PlayStation store, buy the Ubisoft Plus and play it for free. Because nobody is willing to spend £150 on a fucking story mode game that you're just going to finish off and then what, do fucking one or two or, or six fucking uh, side quests? That only got them a million copies sold, allegedly. Okay. Well, I feel bad for the people that fucking pre-ordered that. So who in their right mind at Ubisoft would say, oh yeah, we've got this game that we launched, it's not doing well, in fact, it's doing very poorly, everyone assumes it's going to shut down because nobody's playing it, oh yeah, and it didn't become the Call of Duty uh, killer that we thought it was going to be, and then they're going to say, oh, but it's okay, after season three or four, we're really going to hunker down and spend some more money on marketing, it's all going to work out just fine, I don't know, guys. Once again, I think Ubisoft is just, it's one punch to the groin after another, this company is epically failing. This is happening rapidly. I don't know that they're going to survive to the end of the year. We could they're see not. this this privatization of the company, this buyout uh, from Tencent within the next three weeks, I imagine. It, it could happen very fast. We're going to wake up one day and Ubisoft is going to cease to be Ubisoft, and it won't shock me one bit. But let me know your guys' thoughts about all this. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Well, like I said, guys... This guy deserves fucking credit for what he's just said in that video that he put on his YouTube and also Twitter. Because the man's speaking true, true facts. Honestly, for what he, see what he just mentioned in that video, like near the end of the video, is what I said. Ubisoft doesn't care. They, they just don't care. They had so many times, so many betas, so many tests before the game launched. Why is it they're choosing now to fucking fix shit, but they can't fix shit when clearly there's problems? Like, and I didn't even know that half the devs were working from, the, from home. And that just explains it. That explains why... X Defiant is in the state it's in because half the developers are working from home, not in the office. Honestly, guys, I don't see X Defiant lasting anytime soon. So for any of you guys that still play that shit, I pray for you because I ain't fucking going back to that because Ubisoft are a scummy fucking company. In my opinion, X Defiant was just a placeholder for, for a, uh, the next COD game, which was Black Ops 6. The game is slow paced, like fucking Modern Warfare 2. I am not shitting you. I, I just, I can't stand X Defiant. And I'm going to end this video here, guys, because I'm nearly going over my time and it's going to be like 30 fucking minutes long, me rambling about this. 
So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, remember to drop a like. Remember to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Turn on the notifications for more daily uploads and also... Um, or should I say weekly uploads and also weekly streams and guys please follow me on Twitch as well when I'm not live on YouTube or uploading on YouTube at times because that's when I'll be mostly live and you know be talking on there well guys I'm going to end this video here I hope you guys enjoyed it if you've made it to the end make sure to obviously let me know your thoughts and what do you guys think of this because I don't see Ubisoft fucking lasting much longer like what he said. If this keeps going the way it's going, some cunt's going to buy out Ubisoft and I'm not going to be surprised because look at Microsoft. They bought fucking Activision. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Yeah, I know we lost touch, but I'm still here. We were young, we were kids, it was something rare I told you everything, but when it all